Check out today's piece of Otaku Daikun fan art. Fitting for today's video is artwork of one of my potential outfit designs. The actual blueprint will be in the video proper. Blendware was just kind enough to make an original work with me already wearing the design. Nice. Welcome back to Otaku Daikun. Last month, I announced a contest whereby you, my viewers, could design my new look in order to spice up my pretty basic t-shirt outfit. It's finally time to go over the entries and provide you all with the chance to vote on your favorite. The winner from your votes will have their design made into an actual Vroid outfit that I'll wear in addition to my current one. Some of these designs are simple enough that I might just make them by myself. But for the more complex ones, I hope to commission a Vroid artist, ideally somebody like Argama Witch. I think it's pretty exciting, and if this video does well, I may even open things up to a Daichan contest too. Anyway, there are 15 entries I'm going to comment on and showcase for you. Each one will be assigned a letter of the alphabet, and as soon as you're done watching this video, you'll be able to go into my channel's community tab to vote in the preliminaries. YouTube only lets me make polls up to five entries, so you'll find three polls. Go ahead and vote for your favorite in all three of them, and I'll follow that up by putting the three winners of that into a final poll to decide the true winner. I can't stress enough how I want as many participants to vote as possible. Don't put it off, or you might miss your chance. Lastly, I want to mention that when you do go to vote, don't necessarily go by the most polished drawings. Consider the idea more than its immediate execution. The end product will be polished regardless. For instance, designs without texture or shading will have them in the finished product. With that out of the way, let's move on to our first entry. Entry A comes from Mert 23762957. It's like a cyber die. An open hoodie vest with a triangular pattern on the shirt and pants. Obviously, the side view will have symmetrical pants and shoes. <laughs> Then we have what looks like headphones? I could be wrong, though. Overall, it looks pretty fashionable. Entry B is from Shafit, or Shaf IT. It follows a similar aesthetic and color scheme as the last, but is much more complex. Underneath, there's a button-up shirt and a loose tie, baggy pants with large pockets, and dangling belts. There's a full-on hooded jacket with stylish, kinda edgy decals. The text on the arm says Daikun in katakana, while in the back it says the same thing, only in kanji. Those shoes are badass! Overall, I'm getting a very The World Ends With You vibe. Entry C is the same as the fan art. A trench coat matrix looking die by Blendware. Nice baggy pants with a basic belt. The color scheme is spot on with my typical colors, and it even uses the same t-shirt underneath, just tucked in. Entry D from Blue Ace Epsilon goes in a totally different direction in terms of color. We've still got a vest slash jacket as a base, and along with the gloves, I feel it's very in line with my usual aesthetic. It doesn't have any detail in terms of clothing folds and such, but don't let that deter you. I'll have those details in the end product. Entry E was submitted by Caitlin P. It's a very Asian-inspired daikun, traditional Japanese that reminds me of Inuyasha. I quite like the idea of an asymmetrical sleeve, too. Now, this was obviously drawn on paper, so you can see the template's underwear and legs underneath. Don't let that deter you. Obviously, that won't be there in the final product. Entry F is by Kazuna Astral, whose design really surprised me. Daikun's been an avatar of mine long before I ever started the channel, and his original outfit was pretty much identical to this. It was modeled after Kyo Kusanagi, who I thought was cool for using fire. I'm excited to see such a similar design in the contest. Kazuna Astral also designed Entry G, offering a jumpsuit rather than the more common vest. I like how form-fitting it is. As a slight disclaimer, depending on the limitations within Vroid, certain accessories like the pack at my waist may not be possible. I'll have to consult the modeler regarding those specifics, so please also consider a version without the pack, just in case. Entry H comes to us from Kirken. As you can see, it's Fate Lore Scholar Die, though it's giving me some vibes of Kirito from Sword Art Online. Some elements feel futuristic, others like a pirate, creating this very interesting aesthetic. 
There's supposed to be a book at my waist that says Fate Lore, but again, that detail may not be possible to implement. Please consider it without the book as well. In a very similar vein, we have Entry I by Kitsune Fire 01. It also screams Professor Dai, but with a more elegant, scholarly feel. Reminds me a bit of Negima, really. This version of Dai feels like he'll be late to a tea party. <laughs> When I announced the contest, I specifically mentioned that the original glasses and hair were off-limits. As such, I may opt to go with my previous glasses, rather than the ones here if it wins. Kitsune Fire also made Entry J, which is the gender-bent equivalent of Daichan's swimsuit. For full disclosure, Daichan's swimsuit is just a cosplay of Yume Ren's bikini from FGO. Overall, this is a badass male equivalent. As this is a swimsuit, I may have to find more reasons to justify wearing it in videos. <laughs> who am I kidding? That won't stop me! <laughs> Entry K comes from Mira Maxwell. It's another long jacket, with a cool off-angle belt. What stands out to me is the fluffy collar, reminiscent of Squall from Final Fantasy VIII. Heck, this entire design screams Squall, though I feel it's original for implementing the command spells one for the hand, and a large one for the coat. Entry L was made by Retrograde RG. It's a design emulating Arthur from Fate Prototype, which is cool because I once cosplayed the guy. I made the armor and everything. While I don't expect to be fighting anyone in my videos, it doesn't hurt to be prepared. As usual, I've got to disclaim that the book at my side might have to be omitted. Again, just keep it in mind when voting. Going back to the fancier side of things, Entry M by Charzine Lalebazri reminds me a lot of Moriarty. It's quite the sophisticated look for a pervy otaku like me. <laughs> I like the tassels on the vest, as well as the fine swirl patterns. Entry N is by Starlight98X. Right off the bat, I'm getting vibes from the trails of RPGs, or perhaps even Full Metal Alchemist. It's clean and official, like a uniform. It definitely feels like something a mage would wear. Those boots are incredible, too. It makes me wonder how many steps it would take to put them on or take them off. <laughs> Once they are on, though, they be stylin'. The final entry in this contest, Entry O, comes to us from Zacharias. To me, it seems clear that this is a Shiro Emiya-themed daikun. Obviously, it's not identical, but it does have a very similar appeal. The command seal on my hand looks original which I appreciate. Those are all 15 entries. Again, go straight here to my community tab and vote in all three preliminary polls. They will be labeled with the exact same letters used in this video. Once it's clear the votes have stopped coming, I'll release the final poll. Keep checking back with my community tab for the update, or turn on channel notifications, which I highly recommend you do anyway if you don't want to miss my content. I look forward to seeing the results, everyone! Thanks for watching! If you enjoy this channel, help me beat the algorithm by liking, commenting, and sharing the video, subscribing to Otaku Daikun, and, most of all, smashing that notification bell so you don't miss out on all of my anime discussion, lore, or Let's Play content. If you want to support me directly, there are now three ways that all provide the same benefits. You can click Join here on YouTube, or join Patreon or Subscribestar for access to exclusive vids and early access. As always, celebrate your fandom!